Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable video. Today, we have some things that I think you besties should do in order to prepare for the Equestrian Festival. Now, if you don't know, the Equestrian Festival is supposedly one of the biggest festivals in Star Stable, or at least they're trying to make it one of the biggest festivals in Star Stable. So that includes a ton of brand new gameplay for the weeks that the festival is in game. So without any further ado, let's get into the video, let's go. thing I recommend you to do before the equestrian festival arrives is to get your big shillings. Now the main way to do this is by organizing your inventory and cleaning out your inventory or you know just getting rid of some items that you might have had. I know during special events with exchange tokens that if you pile up on those now is a good time to sell and get around 5,000 or more your big shillings and the reason why is because there are going to be a ton of new items that you could buy and check out at the equestrian festival and star stable usually makes it the items cost like 10,000 star coins for a pair of boots no no what i mean yorvik shillings not star coins that would be a bit too expensive but 10,000 yorvik shillings for a pair of boots or like a shirt a pair of pants with good stats so definitely planning ahead and even if you don't sell the items for your big shillings right now have a place in your inventory where you could keep these separate so when you do need quick Jorvik shillings for the festival, you have that right there for you. The next tip and thing to do before the equestrian festival arrives is to create a horse wish list. Now all of the previous horses that were there last year are going to be returning. So these are some of my favorite English thoroughbreds and I super recommend them. So we have the flea bitten and also a more paint looking English thoroughbred. This year also planned there are going to be two brand new limited horses and I think CC Creations mentioned something about them being Lusitanos in the code. Although I'm not sure since we did have Lusitanos a while back we are still going to be getting those if you guys remember the open house horses those always return with the equestrian festival and just plan on what horses are going to be there so in advance you kind of have an idea of how many star coins you want to spend or how many star coins you want to save up before the equestrian festival since it is going to be here in less than three weeks so less than a month it definitely helps to have a wish list and also if you have any items that you specifically remember wanting I would plan on that too but of course horses is a pretty big thing to plan for <music> Not only will we have returning limited horses this year, we are also going to be getting two brand new limited horses as we usually do with the equestrian festival each year. Now the reason I put this in here is just to plan that there are going to be a ton of limited opportunities, meaning that these horses will only be released during the equestrian festival this year. After the equestrian festival, you will have to wait an entire year bestie in order to get the horse again. So if you are planning or like love any of the horses during this festival, I would definitely advise you to plan on it. And also remember that there are going to be two other brand new horses because everything during the equestrian festival or any festival really like Halloween or the winter village in Star Stable, all of those are limited time and we have to wait one year for them re to return. So definitely look back on past videos. Not only that, but as I mentioned before, there are going to be two brand new limited limited time horses and just kind of know where you're at and if you are planning on logging on for the equestrian festival what will you like buy will you be more focused on limited items and clothes or will you be more focused on buying limited horses and if so create a small budget so you kind of have like an idea of how much you want cc creations also posted some new tack and outfits that we are going to be getting so if you like any of those i would advise you yes look at the spoilers bestie so you can plan ahead and know if you want to spend your your big shillings or star coins Oh 
Okay, so what I mean by plan horses is pretty specific, but I mean not plan which horses you're going to buy. That's kind of like wish list. I mean plan which horses you want to train. Now, a big reason I say this is because with all of the festivals in Star Stable, but most importantly, the Equestrian Festival, we get so many experience opportunities, XP for horses. So if you have a horse that is slightly faster, some bestie said the Gen 2 Morgan was a champ horse and you're like, for example, want to max your champ horse, plan on doing some of the equestrian festival races. We usually get a ton more XP than just going around and doing regular races while the equestrian festival is here. There are also some brand new limited time races to check out. Alongside that, they usually have like a little bit more, like 300 to 400 XP per race. I know we used to have one that was 500 XP, but that was with the birthday, so I'm not sure if we'll be getting that much. But there is definitely a lot of places where you could earn fast XP for horses. So kind of planning ahead and knowing which horses you want to train in what order could definitely be helpful and save you the extra effort once the equestrian festival arrives. Last but not least, we have the classic clean inventory. Now this could definitely be helpful. So if you are planning on going on a shopping spree, not only that, we are going to get so many exchange tokens this year for free clothes and items. I think the uh, sets returning from last year was free will also be there. So if you didn't have a chance to get that, you could get that now. And even if Star Stable doesn't bring a new exchangeable set, which they normally do bestie, but you know, in case they don't, there is always the opportunity to get more items from the set with the exchange tokens from last year and then sell that set for a ton of your big shillings. So either way, you will have a chance to get new items. Cleaning out your inventory could definitely be helpful, especially the day of if you want to check out that update. You don't want to spend time emptying out your inventory and going from there because we will get free items from the quests. So you want to make sure that you have enough space in your inventory so you don't have to like keep going back and forth from quest location to quest location. Now, although this could be your bigger inventory, I more so mean the small carry around inventory. Also planning for like horse food if you don't wanna pay Maya for stable care or anything like that could definitely be helpful to plan for for the equestrian festival as well. I like to leave a little bit of free space in my take with me inventory. Like, I don't know what to call it. Yes, your take with me inventory and make sure that I have enough space for any quest items that I might receive or any exchangeables that I might need. Now, of course, there will always be an inventory on site of the equestrian festival. So if you wanna wait, that is perfectly awesome as well, but just plan on it. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a great day and yeah, bye bye.